Hi, this is Al Cam. Welcome back to my channel. Well, apparently a fair beater trying to jump the fair at Continent Darling in Queens um, found himself in a very bad predicament. After several attempts of trying to jump over the turnstile to avoid paying a fair, he sort of finally succeeded in jumping over the turnstile only to lose his balance fell hard, head first, broken neck, and died. He was trying to avoid paying the fare to the New York City Transit Authority, where I call authority anyway, the New York City Transit, probably like a lot of other fare beaters. People jump over the turnstiles all the time, but unfortunately in this case, for whatever reason, We'll find out later. And it was recorded, by the way. So these are uh, photos courtesy of um, New York City Transit and the New York Post. Uh, there's a video out there, but we're not going to show the video because it is kind of graphic. And uh, using only the photos because it stopped before he finally went to the point of uh, no return. It was that bad. Yes, he did fell head first. It's just like, you know, if you're swimming, in a, you know, going to a swimming pool, swimming, and you jump off in an area you shouldn't be jumping off and the concrete is a lot closer than it should be, you're going to hit your head diving and injure yourself. Sometimes killing yourself or paralyzing yourself and this is the case what happened he tried to jump wasn't successful and then he thought he was successful and then next thing you know he loses his balance he goes down head first breaks his neck and dies which is my point of all this is fair beating has become to the point that now it's leading to other crimes in the system. This is the first uh, crime that was taken out of the, of the arrest uh, mechanism and giving out um, desk appearances stuff. This is what led to all the other situations and crimes and so on. Now you can be arrested for armed robbery, desk appearance ticket, or no cash bail, or whatever. And then you're having in the end, people causing other crimes, attacking passengers, robbing passengers, pushing people in front of the trains, all kinds of other nonsense that shouldn't be happening. And it, meanwhile, the agency is losing money because many of the district attorneys who want to prosecute fair beaters. And of course, the former uh, DA in Manhattan who promised to come up with a program to deal with the fair beating, never came up with it. Why? Because he's too busy worrying about Donald Trump being prosecuted than the fair beater. Donald J. Trump is not jumping the fair. It's all these people. It's causing millions and millions of dollars. That should have been more of a a, a concern than this uh, Trump situation. Trump doesn't even live in New York anymore. All I can say is by showing the photos and I hope people will understand that this is not something that they should be doing. I mean, if you get caught, you get a desk appearance ticket. They no longer get taken down to the, to the precinct to be uh, processed and so on. Trying to, you know, mess up the uh, fair beer's day um, because, you know, they don't want to be involved with systemic racism and all this other bullshit. But this bullshit is what's causing the financial problems for the transit authority, which in turn, when there's not a lot of money coming in, who suffers the most? Other passengers and the employees. Management doesn't suffer because all that stuff is guaranteed. We suffer. 
And I don't feel sorry for the family who died. To be honest with you, I don't. Because you're stealing from me. And you got caught. It would have been nice if you would have been left in handcuffs instead of being left to uh, to the morgue. But that's what happened. Uh, um, other than that, I'm kind of disappointed with the district attorneys not doing their job. Not solving the problem. And the fair beating problem get out of control, which led to other problems. You know, you could be uh, charged with attempted murder or murder and you still be let out. This is the way the system is. All because they started with the fair beating and then pretty soon now it's spread throughout the city. So, you let one little thing go, it snowballs. That's what I have to say about this. Well, I wish everybody a happy new year. New year. Let's see what goes on with the new Eric Adams administration. He's going to bring back the uh, Street Kind unit. And I don't care if Black Lives Matter has a hissy fit. I don't care if they shit in their pants. This uh, crime stuff has got to stop. Not just in the subway, but system wide. So this is how I can't say so long for now, and don't forget your sob. And if it matter to you shitting your pants, get some diapers. You'll make money off of it. <laughs>